Hello, welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the arrays section. This is create an array. One way we can create an array is to use an array literal. An array literal creates an array by wrapping items in square brackets. Remember from the previous exercise, arrays can store any data type. We can have an array that holds all the same data types or an array that holds different data types. So these are individual array elements that are within this array. We have a string element example, we have the number 10, and we have the boolean true. Let's take a closer look at the syntax in the array example. The array is represented by the square brackets and the content inside. Each content item inside an array is called an element. There are three different elements inside the array. Each element inside the array is a different data type. We can also save an array to a variable. You may have noticed we did this in the previous exercise. Let New Year's resolutions be assigned this array, which has Keep a Journal, Take a Falconry class, and Learn to Juggle as its elements. Let's practice by making an array of our own. Instructions. Declare a variable using const named hobbies and set it equal to an array with three strings inside of it. So here we can zoom out a bit. And here we have const hobbies is assigned three strings. Piano, programming, and gaming. And that's our array. Run it. We did pass. We have three strings within our array. Two says use console.log to print hobbies to the console. So here we do get our list or array logged to the console. What we're learning here is how to create an array literal and we store it within our hobbies variable. We're able to create an array literal and store it within a variable and we are able to access that array variable. If you're understanding that, you're understanding this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.